Real Numbers Introduction. This video is brought to you by GreatBooster.in. Hi students, welcome to the chapter Real Numbers. In this chapter, two important properties of positive integers are discussed. The first one is Euclid's division algorithm and the second one is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Before we get into these topics, just let us recall what we have learned about real numbers in your lower classes. What do we know about real numbers? Let us begin with what are real numbers? In simple words, the numbers that can be found on a number line are called real numbers. We know the number line very well. Here we have a number line. Here you can see this point on this number line is called origin and it is represented by a real number 0. Right to this 0 you find all the positive numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and left to this 0 you find all the negative numbers minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Not only this, any point on this number line is a real number. Let us mark some other points here. This point on the number line is represented by a real number minus 1 by 2 and this point is represented by a real number root 2 and this point is represented by pi. Minus 1 by 2 is a real number, root 2 is a real number, pi is a real number. All these numbers are real numbers. So by this we can understand any point on the number line is a real number. Even though all these are real numbers, they are expressed in different forms and called by different names. To understand this better, we need to look at the number system diagram. Let us look at the parts and partitions of real number system. Let us begin with the simplest set of numbers called as natural numbers. These are the general counting numbers beginning with 1, 2, 3, 4 till n. These natural numbers are subset of another set of numbers called as whole numbers which includes all the natural numbers along with 0. These whole numbers are subset of another set of numbers called as integers. Integers consist of negative numbers, 0 and even the positive number. That means the whole numbers are subset of integers. These integers are subset of another set of numbers called as rational numbers. These rational numbers include the numbers which are expressed in the form of p by q where q is not equal to 0. Numbers like 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 4 by 7, and it also includes all the integers. Here we can write even the zero. Here we can write even we can write the positive numbers, negative numbers. So all the numbers so far discussed now are rational numbers. There are another set of numbers which are not rational or called irrational numbers. Examples of irrational numbers are root 2, root 5, root 7, etc. So the rational numbers and irrational numbers are the two parts of the real number system. Here the natural numbers are denoted by a letter n, the whole numbers are denoted by a letter w and integers are denoted by a letter z and rational numbers by q and irrational numbers by q dash. Now let us summarize what we understood about the real number system. Natural numbers are subset of whole numbers, whole numbers are subset of integers and integers are subset of rational numbers. Rational numbers union irrational numbers is equal to real numbers. This is what you have learnt about real numbers in your lower classes. In the next video, we are going to discuss about the important concept Euclid's division algorithm.